el que con lágrimas siembra y con Hey friends, Jarrett Meek here with Mission Adelante, and I've got something special in my hand today that I want to talk to you a little, a little bit about. Maybe some of you received this in the mail, um, or you're about to receive it in the mail, or if you don't, maybe you'd like to ask for one and we'd be happy to send you one. But anyway, it is a box, and this box has uh, our logo on it, but it's a different logo. It's actually been changed. If you want to zoom in here, you can see that we, uh, we have a leaf growing out the top of this logo. And this is all part of a project we're calling Seeds of Hope KC, and it really um, has some significance to us. And we, we would love for you to participate in it with us. But let's open this box and just check out what's inside before I explain what it's all about. So if you open it up in your box, you are going to find um, a few neat little things here. So you got a cute little flower pot um, and inside that you have a soil disc. Okay so I've learned a few things and I wanted to demonstrate exactly how this works just in case you've never used one of these little soil pucks before. So we've got our pot, you stick the soil puck in there and then you dump your packet of seeds right in. Okay now couple things are going to be important. You're going to want to have something under here because the water is going to filter right through. So I'm going to use a bowl and then this little guy in here, I thought at first that this was like to label my plant, but actually I think there's a better use for it here that they intended. So you're going to want to pour a little bit of water in here. Now this soil puck, I'm filling this about halfway up. The soil puck is going to need some time to soak in the water. Okay, so as you can see, um, it's been soaking for just a little while. My whole pot is wet. Water is dripping from the bottom here. And I'm actually gonna pour a little bit more water in here and let it soak down again. So I'm gonna fill about halfway up again and let it keep soaking. Okay, so it's been soaking for about a minute and the soil puck is starting to get kind of soft. So what I'm gonna do is gonna take this, I'm gonna try and poke on the soil puck a little bit and break it up a little. So now you can see in there that it's, it's the, the dirt is in there. The seeds are all mixed in with it. There's still some water. And I think this is what we want. Now we can just kind of let this sit and see what begins to happen. So you're gonna wanna continue to water each day and keep this nice and moist until the seeds start to, to sprout. So back to the other video. So let me tell you about why we're doing this. It's um, really, it came out of Psalm 126. As we were kind of ending the year in 2020, we, uh, we were re reflecting on the challenges of 2020, the pandemic and all of the, all of the unrest around the election and you know, the racial injustice and different things like that that we all kind of struggled through. And we just felt like um, Psalm 126 verse five and six really spoke to the feeling of 2020 and the hope of 2021. And that sense that uh, it, it says, those who sow in tears will reap with joy. And that feeling that 2020 was a year sown in tears. And all of those challenges were kind of, have been weighing us down in a lot of ways. And just the hope that God would produce a harvest of joy in 2021. And so as we reflected on it, this idea was born and we, uh, what we'd like to do is just track along with one another in this process of growing some wildflowers this year. So, you know, we're gonna plant ours, all of our staff and, you know, our participants, volunteers, donors, whoever you are who may be participating with us in this. And we would love for you to post pictures of your pot when you're planting, um, when, you're, uh, when your seedlings start to come up, when you transplant it outside, when you get your first bud and your first flower. And we'll be writing some different articles along this theme throughout the next five or six months. And so uh, we're just really hopeful in this new year. We're just really hopeful for, for what God is gonna do. And we all just need a sense of being able to go, you know what, the challenges that we've experienced in the last year, um, those in some ways um, will hopefully give way to, to a harvest of joy. So Seeds of Hope KC, we invite you to join us and be looking in the mail for your box. Mm -hmm.